Role-based resource planning. All resources must be managed in a central resource pool. Click on the button Resources to open the resource pool. Then, we switch to the Roles tab and create professional roles and qualifications. Click on a Role column to add a role to a resource pool. Since the roles can be managed in groups, we create the Group Role Engineer with two qualifications, Mechanical Design and Electrical Design, as well as their operating costs. Next, we put the Group Role Fitter with two qualifications, Mechanical and Electrical, and Operating Costs. We complete our resource pool with the role Software Developer and Qualification Embedded Linux. We click on the OK button to save our entries in the resource pool. Now, we can define our resource requirements in the project through Role Assignment by selecting a role in the Activity Properties window on the Role tab. We assign the role Engineer Mechanical Design to the Construction Mechanics Activity by double-click and confirm with OK. We assign the role Engineer Electrical Design to the Engineering Electrical Activity and determine that we need two people with this role. In the Activity Engineering Software, we select the role Software Developer Embedded Linux. In the activity Manufacture Mechanics, we need two fitter mechanical. In the activity Manufacture Electrics, we first assign the role Engineer Electrical Design and then the role Fitter Electrical. Afterwards, we determine that a software developer with a qualification embedded Linux is required in the manufacturing software activity. We can display other relevant parameters in the activity and subproject table by right clicking on the column names area of the table and selecting column arrangement in the context menu. In our example, we select the efforts and costs columns and add them to the table. RealSoft Project represents the resulting role usage in tabular form in Resource View Role. This gives us the basic information about the future needs of employees with certain qualifications. When you click on Show Detail, the activities assigned to the various roles of the project can be displayed as bars in the time scale. In the Project Properties, we can display the effort in hours instead of in working days. Using the filter, we can determine the information to be displayed in a view. We set a time filter by holding down the left mouse button on the timeline to draw a period of start and end date. We delete the time filter and define a resource filter for the role Engineer Electrical Design and Fitter Electrical via Menu Item Filter. Afterwards, we delete all created filters and return to the Gantt chart. If you want to make your own image about RealSoft Project, 30 Days Trial version is available for you to download. Try out the efficiency and usability of RealSoft Project.